What's up, old school stereo fans? This is Big D Wiz back once again for another amplifier output test on the old school stereo.com test bench. Today we have the Orion 275SX to complete up the 75 by 2 old school early to mid 90s amplifier demo and output test. So I'm excited to uh, finally get this joker on the bench and see what kind of numbers it puts out. I've, I've actually heard that this is probably going to be the most powerful amp in, uh, in my test, but I'm excited to see. So stand around and watch and stay glued to your screen because here comes the excitement. Let's see what this bad boy will do. Alright guys, real quick before I get started, I wanted to um, show you a um, first, uh, second generation Orion SX manual that also covers the digital reference uh, HCCA models. And what I wanted to show you was um, the 275 SX there right in the middle of your screen. It's rated at 75 by 2, 2 ohm stable, requires a 35 amp fuse. And there's all the other ratings, but what I really wanted you to notice is that the... Um, the 225 HCCA that's rated at 25 by 2 it's rated at, at half ohm stability but it also uses a 35 amp fuse so that's why I think this one's going to be pretty powerful because I've actually done a test of the 225 HCCA before and uh, it was pretty powerful uh, it bridged output so anyway just wanted to show you that and um, show you one other thing and then we'll get started up well, so much for that excitement. I um, I bought one of these uh, distribution blocks here, a fuse distribution blocks that has a volt uh, meter on it, but it doesn't appear that the volt meter on the one I purchased is working. So, so much for that. I was going to uh, use that to show you guys that I was getting the 13.8 volts from the uh, power supply. So anyway, I guess I got to send this one back since it doesn't work great. Um, but anyway. It will not hinder the test here. As you can see, the amplifier, we have a light on. She is powered up. So let's uh, let's test the four ohm output. I've already verified from the resistor loads that I am getting four, four ohms per channel. So now we will, um, let's do the four ohm uh, stereo test coming up first. All right, here we go with the four ohm stereo test. And I'll try to keep my arm out of the way. Let's see what she'll do. good at 112.3 119.2 is clipping so let's go with uh, 112.3 all right we're still in the 4 ohm mode but we have bridged the amp let's make sure we're bridged and we are 4 ohms mono and 100 hertz test tone. Let's try it out and see what she'll do. Clip in there. Knock it down. 345.9 looks clean. Try to go up. Nope, distorting there. So 345.9. 345.9 into 4 ohms mono. All right, and now we have the two ohm uh, load hooked up stereo. Each channel is driven with a two ohm load. So let's see what power she'll do. One. 150.3 looks good. It's clipping there. So we'll go with 150.3. 150.3. Okay, and the final test for the Orion 275SX is the 2 ohm mono test. Let's see what it'll do. Now, 
noted it is not rated to handle two ohms mono which is one ohm stereo load per channel but um, we'll be careful with it and let's try it out and see what she'll do that's clipping hard 380.8 it looks good so we'll go with that 380.8 school fans there you have it the 75 by 2 old school amps tested on the old school stereo.com bench what did you think did your favorite win so I actually have one more um, little surprise for you I have one more 75 by 2 watt amp coming from the early 90s and I'm actually gonna do an unboxing so I'm not gonna tell you what it is but you guys can um, you know just maybe put in the comments what you think it may be but uh, that will come up before we reign the, the champion here of the 75 by 2 amp so until then it looks like the Rockford Fosgate Punch 150 and Orion 275 SX are neck and neck let's uh, let's see how this other amp does and until next time appreciate you guys watching subscribe to my channel stay tuned and as always see ya